What's up everyone, this is Super Super Marcel, and welcome back to Jurassic March. In the last episode, we made these, uh, we made, uh, these little guys, the, the Gallimimuses and the Microceratuses, and, yeah, um, I would like to say this quickly Urgent right now, from that Dr. right now I am actually currently, oh, there's a, a dinosaur over here, no worries, I'll just open them up. Um, I... So I'm playing on the new version of the mod, play, uh, 4.1 now, and Message yeah, apparently, so so here's what to expect from this mod, that th this version of the mod that I'm playing on right now. Apparently they've updated a few things, they've remodeled a few things maybe, I don't know, and they've added two new dinosaurs. Uh, I don't remember what they're called, but it's one's, one is an ankylosaur, mainly a, like a type of polycanth. So like it, it's a like an armored dinosaur that like had spikes on its Urgent sides. It, it was Dr. it was clubless. It had no clubs, but it it definitely did have spikes on it. It's not it's not the polycanthus, but it's it's a type of polycanthus or or whatever the term is for those type of ankylosaurs. The other one is I don't remember what it is, but it's a type of tyrannosaur. I know that for certain. Do I have it in the list? Oh yeah, I do! Wow! How about that? Yeah, this thing right here. Teratophonius is the new dinosaur, it appears. I guess, seeing as how I apparently have it, I guess I'm gonna have to put him in eventually. I it's wonder, hold on. Is it the same for the other? No, I don't have the Ankylosaur. No oh, well. No worries. Yeah. But yeah, that, that, that's the main thing. And there were probably some other things as well. Apparently they, they added a new thing called Volcano Time. Which would be interesting. Oh, wait. Hold on. I think this is it right here. Weather Volcano. <laughs> that will be interesting. I, I guess that's the new twister. And I, I, guess, it, I guess it makes sense. Hello. Oh, hello, Farisa. Welcome. You're the first one to come here out of anyone else. Never mind, I'm wrong. There were other people's. But, okay. I mean, I guess it Message makes sense that there Dr. would be Grant. volcano time since how Isla Nublar. Nublar? Yeah, Nublar did have a big giant volcano! Where? Should I be worried? Should I be? Well, there's the volcano over there at the distance. Welcome back. But it doesn't exactly seem to be doing anything. So, yay! Welcome back. Should I be worried? Or is it just a fancy thing? That... Is it just literally just a fancy background? Is that it? I don't know. <laughs> Nothing seems to be happening. I don't know, I guess... What are your instructions? I guess I'll figure it out. When the dinosaurs start dying and the buildings start getting destroyed. I got a lot of messages I need to get away from. Right, anyways, so... I'm gonna get the auto lure because the dinosaurs that I have over here... Seem to be, hey. like, message from Dr. Grant. not doing anything. Like, that. some little fellas are curious enough to come over here, but otherwise... They... They, they pretty much stay over there, so I'm gonna have to build the old alert to blow them here. And also, um, I've been told that the Dimetrodon apparently eats from the dead bodies of other small dinosaurs. Hi there. So I'm, I'm really gonna hate myself for doing this. But I'm afraid I'm gonna actually have to supply the Dimetrodon with wow. live dinosaurs. <laughs> from Dr. Sattler. It's gonna suck, but nothing else I can do really. Oh, God. Right, where do we start? Velociraptors. Don't want a raptor. I'm good. Mononychus. Extract. Absolutely. Trachorex. Extract. Dimorphodon. Extract. Microceratus. We. Uh. Tail. Uh, extra DNA. Extracted. Sure. Stegosaurus. Extracted. Yep. Wouldn't mind it. Stegosauruses. Sell the raptors. And we'll see where it goes from there. Right. What are your instructions? Is looking sick. This is way out of my league. What's your advice? 
When you mean sick, do you actually mean that they're just yes, aggro against each other? Because otherwise, they're not exactly sick. I Dr. can't Sadler. believe this is happening. What should we do? No, sixty percent. Sweet. Right. In other news, let's let's start getting working on the enclosure over here. I'm thinking of either compies, probably compies, or um the dimorphodons, the the beloved awaited dimorphodons. Pro I'll probably do compies over here. So let's just quickly like get a nice path. Good. 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 And we'll like we'll, we'll connect it up with. We'll, we'll sort of connect it up with this enclosure, right? So, we'll just John simply Hammond. do this. The music's going <laughs> ballistic. But, like I said, the volcano doesn't actually seem to be doing anything, really. It's just a nice, we'll very pretty background, really. Yeah. But anyways. Right. Now, these the compies are, well, compies, so shouldn't be too worked up on them. Like, I think this would be good enough. I mean, they're, they're compsignate for the smallest dinosaur in the world, so I don't have to worry too much about it. Alright. Message from Dr. Yeah, Grant. This will be our compies. And then you turn around, you go over here, and like, I guess one side Message would be the Dimorphodons, and the other side would supposedly be the, like, oh, Indoraptor, ah, <laughs> or something like that. Um, or, well, mm, you know what? Yeah, I think I'm, I'm going to stick to my idea of making the Stegosauruses live here with the small little dinosaurs. And, Message and yeah, um, the, the Indoraptor will have his own large dramatic entrance right there. Yeah, nice. We'll, we'll do that. So we'll just quickly just set up the. Oh yeah, that's right. The balloon tour. I'll just I'll get working on that soon. Right. Great to see you again. Compies. Yeah. Right. We'll make no five problem. Of them. No, make a a good amount of them. Because yeah, they're they're tiny, they're tiny dinosaurs. You're gonna have to have a good abundance of them. I guess while we're at it, message from Dr. Grant. We'll also put in like let's say Ladies and gentlemen, we are happy to announce ah, the arrival of our newest right. dinosaur. Cacompsignaphus, now at your display. This tiny little fella is the smallest dinosaur on earth. Hello. Oh, it's so tiny. Ah, oh, yeah, that's one of the better models. Ah, oh, man. Yeah, it's not bad. I mean, if I, if, if anything, if I could say anything about the model, it's probably like, maybe make it even greener. Because I remember the compies being, ex it, like, really, really green. Like, like kind of like this green-ish. But, yeah, this is, it's a nice. Oh, it jumps! Oh, wait. Do the raptors always jump? Pretty sure the raptors always jump. Forget what I said. <laughs> ah. There we go. We got the little compies. The I infamous compsignaphus. We'll put like 10 of them in there because, again, they're compies. They're tiny. So, yeah. What are we going to put over here? Maybe a balloon ride. I don't know. I think a balloon ride might be good, actually. Or maybe we should put in the cleaner station. I don't know. <laughs> I'll figure it out. Okay. How's my doing that you're not enjoying? You finally eating? Apparently not. Yeah, apparently from what I was told, um, like the Dimetrodon eats like small little dinosaurs and it eats up dead bodies, so it's like a scavenger of some sorts. You know, I feel like it should be a hunter, you know? It, it, it was... I, I'm sure it was definitely capable of hunting on its own. It wasn't entirely a scavenger, especially for a creature of its time. Like, if you think about it, the, the competition that the, the Dimetrodon would have been up against would have been like... What would you recommend in that situation? Uh, I don't even think Gorgonopsids would be a competition against it. 
like I'm pretty sure the Dimetrodon was its own capable. Like maybe it had other species like Lifernaxes. Lifernax? No, Lifernax is a Tyrannosaur. What would you but, recommend? I don't in know. I don't think yeah. Raptor, Aerosaurus. Right. Oh yeah, that's right. We have to deal with what the Dimorphodon. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Now, let's see. Uh, Stegosaurus. Absolutely. Gecorex. The DNA. Message from uh, Dr. Grant. Okay, and we'll sell the rest. Nice. Message right. from Dr. Grant. Hold on. I gotta think about this. Right. So we got. Alright. Dimorphodons. Pegasauruses, and then into a Message raptor. from Dr. Grant. So, okay, maybe we could have like, I don't know, this side here be, this side be the, or maybe Message from Dr. we could like Wood. increase enclosure, then we can probably still do the, I don't know, I don't know, we'll, hmm, we're, it, this is some instructions? real thinking you gotta do here, but, yeah. Mm. What should we do here? Compies. No, no it's compies. No problem. Indoraptor. Yes, that's what we want. Oh yeah. Whoops. Urgent message from Doctor Wu. No worries, we can wait. Right. The auto lure. Sweet. How should we proceed? Right. With this? What do I want message now? Message from Doctor um, Wu. I guess we'll deal with the the lethal gene. No, Safari Adventure. Maybe the Safari Adventure. Yeah, we'll do Great. just that. Safari Adventure. Okay. Speaking of which, I gotta figure out what to do with my balloon rides, and I think, like right here, Message from Dr. is Grant. a pretty good spot to put it. Right. You come into the park through this entrance, and then boom! Oh, it's a balloon! Message from Dr. Oh, that's Grant. a nice model. Oh, it's all blue and stuff. Nice. Very nice model. Ooh, ooh, ooh. ooh. Do and then you come back, just like that. Simple ride. Circle around the park. It's enough to see all the good stuff. Yeah, very nice. Right. Yeah, okay, let's figure out what to do. Okay. Message. You can make Dracorex now, but however, it is only six months. But I'm I'm planning on putting Dracorexes with the Pachycephal. This Pachy? No, Sticky Mollusk because Dracorex is a Pachy sword. We can make the Mononychus, which can live for three years. Let's do that. How are you doing, big guy? Eaten? Apparently you have eaten. And you've also done the block. Good job. Lovely. Well, I need to check. One, two, three, four, five. Hmm. Uh, Mononychus, it's a stubless dinosaur what with no arms and it just has little stubs, but it's cool still. What should we do here? Okay. Alright, let's have a look at this little guy. Hello. Yeah, so this is Mononychus, if I remember correctly from my knowledge. Mononychus is a small little... Dinosaur. Was it an ornithopod or was it a unique dinosaur of its own? I don't know. I think it might have been an ornithopod. But it, it lived in Mongolia, so it lived with dinosaurs like Velociraptor, Protoceratops, and stuff. I'm pretty sure. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm not. I guess. I don't know. I guess I'll have to look it up in the end. But the, thi the, the, the interesting thing about Mononychus is that it didn't necessarily have. Well, it kind of had. A, it's like the case of Carnotaurus, where it's. Arms were literally like nose. Like it had like fingers instead of arms. Like it, it, you know, it was it was a bizarre dinosaur, but still cool yeah, nonetheless. I just remembered. All right, auto lure quickly. Just get that Message dinosaur. Doctor Wu. Yeah. Medic herbivores. Yeah, herbivores. That's now. And yeah, let's just hope that our herbivores just move over here now. I mean, it's working for the galleys, which is good. How uh, are you today? Excellent. Oh well, the it's message from Doctor Covered Grant. by trees. 
I'm just getting rid of that quickly. I think the trees for this version are unique. I don't know. Maybe it isn't, but I think, I think the the trees are nice. They might have been remodeled. Maybe I'm just having illusions, but I don't know. I wanna. I have a, a nice idea, right? Seeing as how this place seems like the the, the privacy area of the, our little small dinosaurs, let's make this like a, a highly jungleized area, you know? And then they come out here. It's not as jungled, but this area is like thickly, thick with trees and stuff. Right? Yeah, that sounds nice. That's our spino. The spino's doing good. Eating away. Alright. What do we do now? We're working on the other enclosures, I guess. Yeah. Let's Message do that. from Dr. Grand. Message from Dr. Grand. Alright, and then like out here in the middle will be our Mosasaur pool. Are you ready? And like right here. Boom. Oh. Ooh, I'm excited. Oh, lightning! Ah, it's foreshadowing of the massive monster that's going to be born from this lake. <laughs> oh, this will be cool. It's going to be hella cool. Alright. Yeah, how much of the enclosure can this around? Halves. Okay, th there does seem to be a mountain in the way, so we'll just... We'll just clear up that mountain. Surround it with fountains. Smart move. Pick it up nice. Good choice. Alright. Dispense a Mosasaur. Oh boy. <laughs> Do we have enough time? We have enough time. We have two minutes. Let's do it. Here we go. <laughs> Here is the Mosasaurus. Good. Did my game crash? If you dare tell me my game crashed. <laughs> oh, you son of a bitch. <laughs> God damn it. No, oh, the Mosasaurus. Damn you, Mosasaurus. <laughs> oh, man. We will. I guess it was coming to the end of the video. I only have like a minute left. I guess we'll just end it right here quickly. I'll, I'll fix up what we've left off in the yeah, later on. Yeah, if you like this video, I'm, I'm going to show the Mosasaurus. Next episode. Next episode, 29th of March. We're going to see that goddamn Mosasaurus. <laughs> yeah, but anyways, if you like this video, click the like button. If you want to see more, click the subscribe button. And I'm Super Super Marcel. Make sure you have a super, super time.